what a kick off. Intergeo 2022 is in full swing. The international geospatial community is here in the exhibition halls of Essen, Germany. With numerous innovations, outstanding projects and solutions, inspirations for a smarter world. And traditionally, on day two of Intergeo, the international press conference was on the agenda. On the podium were top class experts from business, science and the Intergeo organizer DVW. In total, five experts with one topic that affects us all. Climate change and what is the contribution of the geospatial community. And the panel was aware of the complexity of the topic and how the geospatial community is helping to understand climate change, map its effects and shape a sustainable future. It was agreed that the geospatial component prepares information so that politics, and our society can make decisions based on it, sustainable decisions. Martina Klerle spoke in favor of a stronger integration of artificial intelligence and algorithms. Barbara Ryan from WGIC was enthusiastic about discovering not only the expert knowledge, but also the passion and courage with which the community tackles challenges. Thomas Herring from Hexagon and Scott Crozier from Trimble emphasized that only collaboration and the sharing of information can help solve problems. DVW president Professor Hans-Jörg Kutterer pointed out the elementary task of the associations to qualify young people. The tenor of the event, climate change concerns us all, it affects us all. And the work on overcoming the crisis starts with each individual. It's important that we know the aim and the aim is to be CO2 neutral. And to reach them, we have to go small steps, baby steps. And um, throw it away, the complication uh, things do that what you can maybe make the calculation, collect the data, for example, to know where the right places for windmills or so on. And the way is to start. To do the first step is very, very important. Uh, if you maybe make a calculation for solar panels like a solar cadastro or for a rooftop cadastro for green roofs, for example, everything is a small step to work against the climate change. We've done some work that shows the contributions that the private sector can make to this topic, and we showed the Conference of the Parties. This is the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, so it's the international global governance mechanism where all parties to the convention, all countries, go every year to something called a COP, a conference of the parties, okay? I'm really happy to bring you right now closer to the exhibition and to one booth here in Hall 3. It's Regal Laser Measurements. And I'm really happy to meet the CSO, Jürgen Nussbaum, who will introduce you right now to the new products and innovation Regal has brought to Intertu. Hi, Mr. Nussbaum, how are you doing? Hello, Denise. Yeah, I'm very good. And yeah, I would like to show you what is new here. We are happy that we are introducing a number of new products in all our segments. So airborne scanning, unmanned laser scanning, terrestrial laser scanning. And I would like to, to show you around. So we are, yeah, we are standing here in the airborne uh, sector. So we have uh, two new systems. Uh, on the one hand, the VQ1460 with a maximum pulse repetition rate of almost 5 megahertz, 4.4 megahertz. And we have the 1260. Oh, it's so, behind us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Over here. So we have two new systems for high performance airborne laser scanning, a 1260 and the VQ 1460. And I learned a lot more about Regal, so I invite you to watch the whole interview with Regal Measurement Systems on Intergeo TV on YouTube. So this is an international industry gathering and we had several guests here in our studio. 
such as Scott Crozier from Trimble, Timothy Birch from Florida, Barbara Ryan from the WGSC, Felix Reinshagen from Navis and many, many more. And I met FIG President Rudolf Steiger. Um, I met Rudolf several years ago when he candidated for his pre presidency for FIG. And amongst other right now, um, I asked him how the role of geodesists and surveyors changed in his view within the last years. 30 years ago, a surveyor was in the shadow, mm -hmm. working for public administration, working for military services. Nowadays, maybe also due to Google, we know the value of geo-information. And geospatial information is the backbone of each development in society. So we are now more and more coming into sunlight. We are respected, we are seen, we are recognized. That's good. For the moment, all the job opportunities are very good. And if you, if you look around 20 years ago in the geo, measurement-wise, three companies, four companies, four, five different types of instruments. Now you have, I don't want to say hundreds, but 50 different companies, a variety of different sensor, sensor systems combined them together, which is really interesting and exciting, and this development will go on. So see the interview on YouTube and the InterGeo channels. And what's happening today on day three of InterGeo? Christiane Saalbach from InterGeo's organizer DVW knows the highlights for you. Wir präsentieren Ihnen zum Abschluss des Tages ähm, eben eine ganz besondere Premiere. Erstmals wurde anlässlich der InterGeo 2022 eine Challenge Robotic Laser Scanning durchgeführt und die Ergebnisse der Erfassung werden durch die Aussteller Riegel, Hexagon und auch Trimble präsentiert und das für alle sichtbar auf der Expo Stage 1 in Halle 3. Und abschließend lade ich Sie auf 16.20 Uhr ganz, ganz herzlich zum offiziellen Closing der Intergeo ebenfalls auf die Expo Stage 1 in Halle 3 ein. Discover all innovations for a smarter world at Intergeo and enjoy some impressions from the Intergeo City Night and networking event of the geospatial community in Essen now. See you later. Bye.